What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James and welcome to Top 5 Designs of the Week, Episode 2. So guys, before I do get into this video, I would just like to say that on the day this is uploaded, I will have a second video, which is a bonus video, out later on today. So if you do want to see that and you don't want to miss it, then I definitely recommend you do turn on my channel notifications, just so you don't miss any future uploads. Anyways guys, with all of that said, for this episode I have 5 amazing designers. It took forever to actually pick these winners, just because there was over 200 entries, so because of this I may be doing honourable mentions for these episodes, so if you are interested in seeing honourable mentions, mentions I definitely recommend you leave a like and also comment that down below just because I don't know if you guys want to see that also guys if you do want to enter for next week's episode then just click on the link in the description down below it will take you to a google form link where you can enter in your design anyways guys with all of that said I'm going to head over to my computer and let's look at the top five winners so guys I'm on my computer now I'm going to be going through all five different entries I'm going to be saying how they can improve and also shouting out their channel or twitter so guys without further ado in the number five spot here we have sense designs uh, he wanted to shout out his YouTube channel, which is of course Sense Designs. So make sure you do check out his channel. Of course, everyone's links will be in the description down below. But as you can see here, he created a nice 3D slash 2D uh, Twitter header. This header is almost like a sort of blood theme. I do really like the way it looks. I like there to be more of a theme. So if you was going for like a blood theme, maybe have actual blood splats. But aside from that, it does look really creative. I've never seen anything like this before. A very nice header overall in my opinion. There are only a couple ways he can improve this entry. Say for example the 3D text. Uh, it's kind of hard to work out his name. If his name was Sense, uh, people would think that's a C not an N. But apart from that, it looks like a really nice header. You guys are probably wondering how this is in the number 5 spot because it's so amazing. But if you have a look at the other 4 entries, you will understand why. But with that said, of course Sense Designs. Congratulations on getting the number 5 spot. A link to his channel is in the description down below. So guys, swiftly moving on to the number 4 spot here, we have at uh, send creates as you can see here he created a really really nice sort of abstract twitter header it definitely does look really nice of course this style is quite overused but he's used um obviously original stocks and also just original pictures in general uh, maybe do something more with the text it looks a little weird how you've liquefied it uh, maybe try and use a different font or even just keep the text how it is but apart from that i do definitely enjoy this twitter header so make sure you do check out his twitter which is at send creates he's a really amazing designer and i did check out his port as well so make sure you do check him out so guys going into the number three spot here which is pretty much the bronze award we have sorry if i pronounce your name wrong but amet and cool is that how you say your name i'm really sorry if i can't pronounce that but as you can see here he created a really nice twitter header for mystic arts i haven't seen any style like this it looks really nice how you've got the contrast between the blue and also the black of the wood and also just the effects you've added say for instance the plants in the background which you faded and also the butterflies everything looks really good you haven't just like copy and pasted stuff like the butterflies you've used different images and also the blue overlay throughout this header is actually the, in the shape of the logo itself so it's actually really detailed and really nice a lot of you may think this doesn't deserve the number three spot but in my opinion um, Amet and the cool you created a really nice header and I definitely do enjoy this So with that being said make sure you do go ahead and check out his youtube channel Which of course will be linked in the description down below so guys moving on to the number two spot here We have at end just the way he has executed this header. It looks so good I can't stress this enough everything looks really original i haven't seen any of these stocks before i don't know the style itself it's just amazing i can't stress this enough for things that you can improve maybe add some lighting at the top but apart from that i really do enjoy this header i wouldn't even know how to really go about this i do definitely enjoy this style and also if you check out his portfolio he definitely does use this style a lot which makes his work really nice and it makes it sort of flow together when you do look at his portfolio but overall enticed a really amazing entry well done on second place you definitely do deserve it so guys in the number one spot here we have at twig underscore now just have a look at how much detail has been put into this header i just really find this style amazing i don't know what it is about it it just looks really nice and also the actual header itself is like 4k quality it's absolutely amazing a lot of you are going to say that the number two three four spot deserved the number one spot but in my opinion this is just an amazing header also checking out his portfolio you can see that he definitely does like this 80s sort of retro style but he doesn't try and copy other people he has his own sort of style. 
I don't know, it looks really nice. All of his work is amazing. I can't stress it enough. He definitely does deserve more followers with work like this. As you can see, amazing advertisements as well. The only thing I would say maybe to improve your portfolio, not necessarily the design, but your portfolio, is just to maybe add some more advertisements or just YouTube banners. You've got a lot of headers, but you haven't really got um, a lot of variety. But apart from that, I can't stress it enough. This guy is absolutely amazing. If you aren't following him already, I definitely recommend you do so. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, of course, those are the five winners for this episode, so make sure you do check them out. Their links will all be in the description down below. Like I said at the start, if you do want to enter for next week's episode, it's as simple as just clicking on the link in the description down below and submitting your entry. Just follow everything that's on there and I will receive the entry. And of course, I do go through all of them at the end of the week. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. I really would appreciate it. Once again, sorry if you didn't win. I'm going to end off the video. Like I said, hopefully you did enjoy. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace.